Okay, so I um, did a bunch of circles. As you can see, I carried on with that. Um, so now you're going to um, use the same colors and maybe um, you can use different ones. I've been using the same colors. So um, when these are all done, you can be the judge of whether you want to do that with your own thing or not. Um, but I am going to use some of the colors that were used on the envelope, the, this part of it, okay? But that weren't necessarily used on these, like in the circles. Like this pink, I didn't use in the circles. Um, so I am going to use it now. And kind of the same uh, theory Um, same technique as when we filled in the leaves on the stems and, and the things at the side. Um, is that you're going to get a little wet there. And then you're going to add some color. So it's a little um, watered down. It doesn't matter. You go over your papers. Um, you don't want to go right over your circles, but if if some of the color uh, bleeds out, don't worry about it. Remember, it's not a masterpiece. That doesn't mean it's not going to be beautiful, but don't think of it as a masterpiece ahead of time. It might just end up so beautiful that you don't want to cut it up into a flap. And then you have a big decision to make. I'm trying to keep this um, so that it's straight for the camera. It's kind of awkward. Remember, you've got several colors, so don't get caught up in, you know, one area or filling, filling the thing up with your first color. Just do a few little spots. Yes, we're trying to cover the white part, um, but also go over the papers, you know, the text. Um, and a really great thing to do is sometimes when you're in the middle of art, kind of like when you're in the middle of a situation, you can't see it clearly uh, because you're too close to it. And I think with this kind of art that has layers and steps, um, we kind of see, I think probably for those of us that are really left brain, we see it as the steps, the individual steps that it took to get there, instead of seeing it as um, the beautiful thing that it's becoming. And so what I will often do is um, I get to a certain point and then I take a picture with my phone and um, it's pretty amazing the difference how you can view it uh, when you look at it like that because then I guess it's because then you're seeing it as a whole not as the piece that you constructed bit by bit Okay, so we're gonna call that good for that. I really love that pink. Um, that is hot pink. Doesn't seem that hot to me, but it's beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm gonna add some of this lovely green. I think this, yeah, this is the Granny Smith.
Okay, so you just continue on like this. That had enough paint that I probably, there's a little bit, a lot down there, so I probably don't even need to add more paint to that right there. 